This towering boxing beast from China will leave you speechless. Meet Zhang Jilei, the rapid rising boxer in the heavyweight division. Standing at a towering six feet six inches tall and weighing in at 255 pounds, this 40 year old fighter from China knocks out anything that crosses his path. He holds an impressive record of 26 wins, 21 of them by knockout. Guys, I've been in the game a long time. Oh, straight left and down he goes. The newly crowned WBO champion, this Chinese boxer, stands just one step away from high profile confrontations. So, let's dive deep into getting to know this monster better and truly grasp the monstrous power of the Big Bang. Take too much time off. Love to Ooh. see that. Counter left hand and a big one by the Big Sun. The boxing world witnesses the sunset for most professional boxers at the age of 40 as their strength diminishes. However, there exists an exception who defies this norm. Zhang Jilei, the newly crowned Chinese WBO title holder. Despite his advanced years, he has emerged as a force to be reckoned with in the boxing elite. Aptly nicknamed the Big Bang, he intends to claim his spot among the illustrious quartet of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Oleksandr Usyk, and Anthony Joshua, a confrontation we shall delve into later. Brace yourself, for a new force has arrived, and the boxing world must take notice. I'm very confident. My goal is to become a world boxing champion. Now, I'm just one step away from this goal. So I will train harder, I will become stronger, and I hope that I can defeat Oleksandr Usyk and become the first boxing champion in the history of China. With a birth date in 1983, Zhang from Henan was destined to stand out. His towering height of six feet one inches tall at just 13 years old caught everyone's attention. Originally intended for rowing, Zhang's rapid growth made him unsuitable for the sport but it turned out that he was a natural fit for boxing, which became his ultimate calling. The results soon followed. He secured the title of Chinese champion in 2003 and clinched a bronze medal at the 2004 Asian Games, making him one of China's top competitors on the world stage. During the highly anticipated 2008 Olympic Games, Gillet emerged victorious from his initial bouts without breaking a sweat. However, he faced a formidable contender in the final, the great Italian amateur Roberto Camarel, who bested him in the fourth round, leaving the Chinese boxer with a silver medal. This distinction placed Jilei among the four celestial medalists, alongside Zhu Ximin, Hanati Silamu, currently known as Kanat Islam, and Zhang Xiaoping. Despite the relatively low popularity of boxing in China, Zilei's passion for the sport burned bright even after the Olympics. In 2009, he secured a gold medal at the Asian Championships and followed it up with a bronze at the World Championships in the same year. His sights were firmly set on the Olympic Games in London, and he successfully qualified through the Asian Olympic qualification in Astana. Zilei showcased his skills with honor, but suffered a defeat in the second fight against the future gold medalist Anthony Joshua. Oh, what a shot by Joshua. In 2014, our hero embarked on his professional boxing journey by signing a contract with Dynasty Boxing Promotions. His debut fight against Curtis Lee Tate turned into a comical farce as his opponent fell after a seemingly harmless blow to the shoulder. Even though he's not in there with much, he's taking a fight on Tate. He's taking oh, a fight are you kidding already? Down goes Tate. They waved it off. Jilei maintained an impressive pace early in his career, competing in a series of thrilling matches, including a victory over Juan Good in the final round. He also faced off against Gogita Gorgiladze and showcased his skills in the United States, securing a remarkable triumph over Galen Brown. By the beginning of 2017, Jilei's record had increased to an impressive 13-0, 9 wins by knockout, the Chinese Southpaw gradually gained recognition on the international stage, accumulating a total of 26 victories, with an outstanding 21 knockouts to his name. Despite his advancing age, 
Zile continues to gain momentum, proving himself as an unstoppable force. Even the talented fighter, Joseph Joyce, suffered devastating knockout defeats twice, unable to stand against this unstoppable monster, ultimately missing out on a championship title. Now, let's discover the intriguing story behind Zhang's popular nickname, The Big Bang as we delve into the selection of the most brutal knockouts of the Chinese Hulk. Chinese boxing fans still question the legitimacy of Zile's debut fight as it ended almost as soon as it started. With a single strike, he knocked out his opponent, landing a perfect blow on the vulnerable crystal shoulder. In a controversial decision, the referee waved it off as soon as his opponent hit the canvas. An undoubtedly dubious start to his career, but an exciting beginning nonetheless. Tate oh, are you kidding already? Down goes Tate, they waved it off! Yeah, it's a joke. I mean, I was just about to say, I mean, he's taking a guy that's eight days, this is a joke. What happened? Eight days condition, you know, I mean, really ridiculous. And this is a guy who's been knocked out four times, Tate. They should have got somebody better. Zile's next fight was against the Indonesian David Kosvar and the difference in dimensions was colossal. It was already clear who would win. As the fight started, Zile confidently took the center of the ring, exerting pressure on his opponent. In a swift exchange, Zil knocked him down with a double blow to the head. The Indonesian struggled to get up, but almost immediately fell again from a powerful left straight by the Chinese fighter. It was a remarkable victory by TKO. Zile's next victim was the American Galen Brown, who proved to be no match for the unstoppable Zhang Zile. On January 21, 2017, Gile claimed the vacant WBO Oriental Heavyweight title against Peter Graham, stunning the audience with his striking performance. The fight with Peter Graham started with cautious exchanges and distance measurement. However, in the second half of the round, Gile landed a powerful right hook that sent his opponent reeling. <laughs> Despite a brave attempt to get up, Peter never fully recovered. The Chinese fighter pounced again, and Peter found himself on the canvas for good. The victory was sealed with a knockout. On April 29, 2017, Gile faced off against Mark Brown, delivering a first-round knockout in a spectacular fashion. The fight took place in America, and Gile's opponent this time was the relatively unknown Curtis Harper, Right from the start, a charge Zile took control of the fight, relentlessly advancing and maintaining distance. In the middle of the second round, the Chinese fighter unleashed a barrage of powerful blows, culminating in a devastating straight shot to the target. Curtis was stunned, but still wanted to continue the fight, 
only for the referee to intervene and stop the match. Ну и очень правильно, верное решение выносит судья на ринге, объявляя о том, что поединок завершён досрочно в первом же раунде. Then on July 20th, 2018 in Iowa, USA, Zile went head to head with German boxer Jürgen Buchmuller, leaving him no chance. Zile stepped into the ring for his first title defense against Don Hainsworth. Right from the start, Zile showcased his usual pace, dominating the center and controlling the distance. Poor Don could only defend himself, eagerly waiting for the perfect moment to strike back. As Zile maintained his lead, he unleashed a series of accurate and powerful combinations with just 10 seconds remaining in the round. Round two witnessed more action as the fighters engaged in a thrilling exchange. But it was Zile who truly stole the show, knocking Dong down with a stunning uppercut. By the third round, Don was completely drained of strength, and Zile capitalized on it, relentlessly pressuring him. It was no surprise when the referee intervened and stopped the fight. The victory was sealed with a resounding technical knockout. Chile's journey continued as he faced off against Devin Vargas. Опа, приехали. Опять же, друзья, это был вопрос времени. Все, не мог, все плохо. Seven, eight, nine, ten. The atmosphere was electric when Zhang Jile squared up against Craig Lewis. The first round unfolded at a steady pace, both fighters meticulously choosing their attacks. However, in the second round, Jile unleashed a devastating left blow that left Lewis stunned in the corner of the ring. Although Lewis bravely fought on, Jile struck again, delivering a crushing blow that forced Lewis's corner to throw the towel. Another phenomenal win achieved through a technical knockout. Yeah, you and this is the thing about guys that have been in the game a long oh, time. Straight left and down he goes again. That's two knockdowns in round two for sure. Journeyman Five, come to fight, but do six, they come to win? Seven, especially when the going gets eight. tough. He said he wants to continue. That's it. Gilles' next fight against Scott Alexander was an absolute whirlwind. In a mind-boggling display of speed and precision, Zile knocked out Scott with his signature left straight in just two minutes of the first round. But the real surprise was yet to come. Zile's upcoming fight with WBO interim belt holder Joe Joyce was scheduled for April 15th, 2023, in the heart of London. The experts may not have given Zile much chance, considering his age. In the other hand, Joyce, four years younger and all hyped up from his previous victory over Joseph Parker, was the clear favorite. The stage was set for an epic battle, the powerful left straight. As the match progressed to the fifth round, Joyce pushed Zhang on the defensive and forced him to rely on him. On September 23, 2023, Zile stepped into the ring against Joe Joyce to defend his belt and seek redemption in a long-awaited rematch. The referee's countdown commenced, sealing Zile's imminent victory. The crowd erupted into applause bearing witness to this remarkable triumph. Zile, now a true champion, silenced all doubts and established his legacy. Zile, a fascinating mix of talent and strength, fights with an elusive southpaw style. Remarkably agile for his age and size, 
He possesses an undeniable charm, even with areas he still needs to polish, such as defense. However, time is not on his side. 2024 should be a make-or-break year for him, a year where big fights and big names could open up countless opportunities. The clock is ticking. Perhaps Zhang Zhele won't be hailed as the best heavyweight on the planet, but he has already left an indelible mark. He has inspired thousands of children in his homeland to take up the noble sport of boxing. Zhele's impact on the sport's development is more influential and precious than any belt could ever be. Come on.